we got bad news, y'all. From PS4 to PS5. So progress, the progress that transfers is my team and VC. Because we're building the gra- the game from ground up, and it's been this case every year, we uh, are not transferring from console to console um, because it's a completely different experience, as you guys will see. You probably remember the same thing that happened back in uh, 2K14. It's just, it's a totally different game. It's not possible, so. Um, Ronnie in his stream again uh, said something else about the park. This has me worried. I'm confused. I'm in a genjutsu, bro. But there's no reason that the park would disappear from current gen. I don't know. Well, that, that rumor started yesterday. I was like, huh? What? But there's no reason that the park would disappear from current gen. I don't know. Well, that, that rumor... The park would disappear from current gen. What is he talking about? What, what does that mean? And you know, Ronnie... <laughs> It's not the part which you can think whatever you want. <laughs> but, um, yeah, bro, like, what? Like, what? Huh? Like, park with this. He's saying park. He not saying parks. Oh, oh. That's a heartbreaker. Neighborhood return. Not multiple parks return. I don't know, my boy. I don't like that. What, 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 what do y'all think that means, man? the greatest 2k player in existence now listen up bro in this video i'm going to be explaining a lot of things that a lot of y'all are confused about i'm i'm honestly like i honestly don't get how a lot of y'all are like confused about this but i guess this is now uncommon knowledge my boy now look first off it's confirmed that my career in park progress will not transfer from current gen to next gen okay a lot of y'all saying it's obvious duh it's a new game it's a new new game like 14 y'all should be used to this already first off <clears throat> now think guys think about this man in 14 when you made your player wasn't it like the same process i don't too much remember it but but i'm i'm pretty sure my boy is like the same process you could transfer them i just think it's gonna be a different storyline now if it's just a different storyline that's like hella that's a finesse my boy i can almost well i can't guarantee but it, it's just common sense this year 2k20 they've made more money than any other 2k with this pie chart system it creates people just to make way more builds than usual okay you know 16 they had the inside outside then you know the the um 17 just the archetypes and then dual archetypes and then the pie charts the pie charts create people to make so many more builds and especially with these different names and all that people just spamming youtube videos it creates people to make way more builds they are going to go even further in 2k21 by basically making way more pie charts like what 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 else are they 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 going to introduce for for the the my player system all it's going to be is way more pie charts and maybe some other stuff but all in all like they might gloss it up and be like oh we doing this and that but all in all the basic foundation is it's just going to be a lot of pie charts, bro. A lot of physical profiles, a lot of all of this and that. And if it's just like that in 2K21 current gen and next gen and it's just a different storyline, that's a finesse, my boy. It's a finesse and it shouldn't be like that. So what I suggest, bro, is y'all y'all need to voice your opinion even me myself i don't wanna uh <laughs> i don't wanna make like three builds on current gen 2k21 and then uh spend over a mil vc on each single player and all these skill boosts and gatorade boosts and then i go to next gen and it's the same thing basically just in a different genjutsu loop you feel me it's the you and they really could transfer it 
I mean, he, Ronnie's saying it, it's impossible to transfer the my career and park progress, but they're transferring the my team. So it kind of makes you think that it's going into, from current to next gen, it's going to be somewhat similar builds. How are you going to transfer a card, okay? If they're, they're just like my players. They're just way like OP. You know, you're, you're transferring people's teams. You're going to do that, confirm. But you can't trust for the, the my players and stuff. It's a finesse, bro. Now, look. Something happened later on today with Madden, right? Okay. I guess people tweeted out a crazy hashtag and it went viral. And this is what happened, my boy. Some, some, uh, a Ken went and, uh, made a little, like, apology video and said they were, they're going to try and change stuff. I'm Sean Grady. Let, let's check it out, man. Madden NFL. And on behalf of the entire Madden development team, uh -huh. we wanted to reach out to say we see your fixed Madden franchise team uh -huh. and we understand we need those. your frustration. Now, the franchise community is critically important to us and we appreciate, of course, your passion for yeah. Madden NFL. Yeah. We're reading your feedback and we clearly understand that mm -hmm. you want more. We've seen your request for details around what the franchise yep. community can expect moving forward. And while I don't have a lot of details, like my career part right community, now, I can tell you that today our team is actively working. This on is what we got to do, my boy. In Madden NFL 21 and beyond. The development team is this what we right got to do. Working from home to prepare Madden NFL 21 for launch on August 28th. But we're also committed to providing updates to you on our thoughts and plans around franchise moving forward. Before we got to put them in a position like so again, these. Thank you for all the passion and the feedback that you bring. For those of you that are going to participate in the closed beta, we look forward to more feedback later this weekend. Thank you. So as y'all can see, bro, they put them in a position to where, you know, they're going to change things, bro. I don't think we should just accept it. I think y'all are like, y'all are crazy. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. First of all, the pie chart shit was just a Genjutsu. It, it, it's literally like the same thing as 19, 18. It's just, it's just, it creates more confusion for people to make different builds and adjust and a higher chance of error to create something. And it, it just, it just har harder to find the meta. It's, it's, it's literally the same build system, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. That what what else are they gonna do? What else? It's just gonna be more introduced pie charts, bro. I mean, do do y'all feel me? Like, or 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 am I just tripping? Like, I I, I just don't. I'm I'm just lost or something. I, I'm just saying, bro. This is crazy, and um, I don't know. I don't really see anybody really talking about it or going crazy on Twitter, like. This is hella money, bro. <laughs> I'm not, it's, it's not even just about the money, bro. It's about the time, bro. I hate my career with a passion. Drop a like and a sub if you hate my career yourself. Make sure you subscribe if you do. Uh, 300K on the way. But look, listen, bro. I, I like, I hate my career. I hate being forced to play something. I want to go play versus people with my player, right? It takes too long. This year, it took like two weeks a month like if you have a life to fully upgrade your guy get all the badges and stuff it's too much bro like that you know and now we're gonna have to do that all over again like i got a slave on a game i'm trying to have fun boy i don't know but anywho i just wanted to drop a video saying for you guys to not be okay with the current gen and next gen um progress not transferring okay um if we do figure out later on down the road that it's pretty much the same build system with just a different my career and different park and all this whatever stuff or parks or dimension or <laughs> city or <laughs> um network whatever whatever it is bro but but deep deep between the genjutsu it's the same pie charts and builds how you build your player to not be okay with it and, and, and to unite and talk to these devs and let us transfer over for the people that are actually doing that um a lot of y'all being like 
wait too much, blah, 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 da, da. You mean you can go ahead and do that? You a consumer. Do what you do, my boy. You know, if you if you is going to get it on next gen, but um, me personally, you know, I'm a YouTuber, so so I, I'm going a, I'm to a get the current gen, and I'm going to get the next gen, you know? And for other people like that, I just feel like it's a... I don't like it. it nasty taste in my mouth, my boy. Pause. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all think I'm right or it's just going to be a completely different build system. And it's just, it's just, it, you're not going to like, like, even if, even if, let's say there's like 200 pie charts on 21 current and then there's like 500 in next gen still let us transfer our player and just like adapt them you know like just make him and then if it becomes a different name like do that you know our whole progress shouldn't be like not there oh and by the way we will not be able to play ps5 will not be able to play versus ps4 see you see right here this is a part of 2k uk version you see my boy Will PS4 players and PS5 players be able to play in the park together? No, they are two separate distinct games. The next gen versions are being built from the ground up for those platforms. There will be things that differ. Hey man, that's the video man. <laughs> uh, make sure y'all subscribe if you know. Spam up that like button if you want um your my career and part progress to transfer make sure y'all turn on post notice go to the gym seven days a week drink a gallon of water a day and i'm out this home